Welcome back to another video. Uh, this video, what we're going to be doing today is some um, uh, compliance patching. We're going to cover a few things, actually. We're going to cover some uh, installing and configuring, uh, going over certificate um, uh, security, creating computer groups, uh, and configuring the GPO policy as well. So just waiting for the server manager to, to finish here. And we can go ahead and get started. So. First, we're going to we're going to take a look at our computer management, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the server right as the des designated server to run the Windows Server Update services. So right now, I'm just going to prepare the server to assume the role of the WS uh, SUS server, right? And I got to prepare the disk volume that's going to be used for storage for the OS uh, updates. Uh, if this ever loads for me, all right, so. I'll do this here. Let me get this prepared. Shrink it here. <clears throat> I'm gonna stack about ten thousand. Okay. This is gonna automatically calculate calculate the uh, the total shrink size in, in megabytes. I mean, now that's good. So now we have it unallocated here. So we're going to fix this for a new simple value. And the defaults are usually okay. Actually, let me... Um, good. All right, perfect. So we got everything situated here. Let's see what this is. We can exit out of there. All right, so now that we've uh, uh, situated the simple value uh, wizard, we can actually head out of here, right? So now what we're gonna do is just install and configure the WSUS. So I'm actually going to head to the PowerShell to uh, place a few commands here. Uh, here, and then we're going to, it's gonna be a bit of a long command here. Go. Should take just a moment. All right, perfect. So it has successfully completed. So now we're going to enter in another prompt here. Let's see. This one is going to be kind of long. I don't know. Maybe not as long. Perfect. So it also indicated that the operation completed successfully. So now I'm just going to reboot the machine here so we can make sure everything is properly updated. Right. Oh. All right. So now, now we got everything back up and running. So we're actually going to take a look at the Windows Server update services, right? And we want to store the, the updates locally, naturally, of course. And we want it in our E drive, if you noticed from earlier. Uh, and I named it WSUS update. 
And then we're going to hit run. Take a second. Hopefully not too many seconds. All right, so it uh, the install successfully completed, so I'm actually going to go ahead and close this out. So now what we're going to do is um, um, take a look at the uh, configuration wizard here. Just going to click through, and next, of course, and we actually want here, we want proxy, we want AD. Right. And these replicas, the secure socket layer, we don't really need those, All right? Actually, yeah, oversell this here. We might sell the secure socket layer. I said, yeah, that's something's not right there. There we go. Perfect. I want to start connecting. So we finally downloaded the, uh, where we connected the, the upstream server. Let's download the information from the uh, Microsoft update. So uh, now we can just move forward <clears throat> with everything we need. Um, let's see. I just need to move these here. Cause I don't need all of these. I just need the OS that we need. Um, Good. Actually, we don't. Mainly right here. All right. We can actually begin the <clears throat> in there. There we get fish. Perfect. It should. Will tell us about the status. <clears throat> All right, so we just waited for this to reach one hundred percent for full synchronization. Then we'll be able to move forward. Uh, so we can see details of the actual download. All right, so the synchronization is finally uh, completed. So we're going to take a look at the, <coughs> excuse me, at some uh, certificate security. Now, it's a critical component, right, to make sure that the information is kept confidential. And, um, and we understand that who's delivered, you know, said information thereby, thereby confirming the uh, integrity of not only the data, but also the sender. So I want to do now is just enable the secure socket layer for the WSUS server. <laughs> so uh, now that we've seen that's done, just going to head back here. Then we're going to go to the information internet services. All right. And let's open this up here. Hmm. Started. Um, sure, I guess. Um, but we're gonna take a look at the server certificate, All right? We're gonna open this up here, and naturally, let's see which one should be. it should be either or, really. All right? Actually, you know what? We're just gonna create our own. All right. There it is. Uh, let's do personal 
that's fine. Perfect. So now we see we created our own self science certificate, right? So just going to go back here. Let's me click. All right. Let's take a look here. Here are our bindings. And we want to edit our hypertext transfer protocol secure. All right. And then we want our host name. Pretty much what ourselves, what we just named our self science certificate. Right. See, everything else looks pretty good. That. This is good. All right, perfect. Now we can, now that we have it added, let's close this out. All right, perfect. So now that we've got the bindings taken care of, right, just going to take a look at our secure sockets layers um, settings again, and open that feature. And of course we want to have it require the secure socket layer and we want it to be applied. Right, so that means that, so we see now the changes have been successfully saved. So now it allows us to move on to taking a look at exporting our self science certificates. So just going to click back here, right? And then I'm just going to take a look at our service certificates again. We're going to open that feature, right? And then let's take a look here. Let's, let's take a look at it, right? And let's take a look here. I'm going to copy to file. All right, and of course we want to export just by the uh the private key, All right? And that's fine. And of course our password. <laughs> and the wider response time is well. <laughs> Next. And of course, we want it to. All right, so perfect. So I'm actually going to close this out now that I have that copy, at least now. Now what we're going to be able to do is configure the domain to trust the self-science certificates, right? Now to set this up, I'm going to go back, head back to the uh, server manager here. We're going to take a look at our group policy management. Let's see here. I want to open this up. All right. <clears throat> take a look at our domains. All right. Let's see practice labs. Okay. There it is. That's what I was looking for. Let's edit that here. All right, let's take a look at our policies and our windows and our security settings. Actually click here, maybe a bit easier to see. All right, let's take a look at our public key policies and see here. Perfect, so now let's import. And of course we want it from what we just created. Uh, Um, actually, you know what? I'll just place it in myself. I don't want to take too, too much time looking for it. Okay. Let's 
So now we see, right, uh, that the import was successful and that means the self-signed certificate has now been added uh, for our group policy management. So I'm just gonna exit out of there, right? And now we can move forward with creating a computer group for the Windows Server Update service. So I'm actually gonna go back to that. Fiddle, LST, internet information. Kind of connected. And you secure socket layer. And if I had a computer group. And engineering. Let's see. There it is. All right, perfect. So now that we're back on the update services window, um, let's see. I want to take a look at something here. All right, so we want to take a look at our options here. Then we want to take a look at our computers. All right, and we want to use the group policy. All right, we want to hit apply. We want to hit OK. All right, perfect. Now we're going to approve the downloaded updates that we've just made, right? So now the update services console is running. I'm just going to click here, all right? And here, let's see, it should say, there it is, 995 updates are waiting to be approved. Uh, let's see, put this here. Now I'm just gonna choose any Windows OS uh, security update that's not been superseded by another update here. And then I'm going to, uh, pretty much when I get the update, I'm gonna click on it and I'll choose approved. Uh, for example, like this one here. So I'm just going to right click here and have it approved. <laughs> for install. All right, perfect. Really, I, I should have just only done it for just the engineering, but in the real world, you would. I mean, of course, depending on the situation also, it depends, right? Which is here, engineering, boom for install. So, you know, and you just go through it manually, continuously, yeah, uh, to do it until you see, um, of course, the, get the successful result that you were looking for as far as those particular, uh, for the particular, Peter root that you're using and my my case for engineering uh for things to be approved to be installed right so um but yeah that that about takes care of it as far as the um as far as the creating the computer groups for the um the updated services so now what we're going to do lastly is configure some group policy objects uh for uh the wsus 
So first I'm going to create an object actually. So I'm going to head back to the server manager. All right. And I'm going to take a look at Active Directory. All right. That loads for me. Where are you? All right, so let's start here, All right? What's going on? All right, so what I'm trying to do is, is again, cr create a new GPO, uh, so let's fix there it is. Okay. All right, perfect. And we're going to name this WSUS clients. All right. <clears throat> As we can see, it's been created here that we can now see. All right. And <clears throat> now I'm going to actually go back to. Let's see. Here. Here. There it is. Let's take this one. Okay, we'll reloads. So what I'm going to do is move this computer, all right? I did not want to open it. Where are we going? <laughs> My attempt is to move this from here to WSUS clients. Perfect. Now, as you can see, it's not here anymore. Click here, it's now here, right? Perfect. So it's just going to be used as a test computer. As you can see, the uh, lab window 801, it's just going to be used as a test computer for distribution of, of updates uh, via the WSUS4 for, for right now, right? And um, again, we see that the one computer is present uh, for me moving it. So now I'm just going to go back here. Um, actually, no. Let's take a look here again. I'm actually going to create a GPO here now if it ever loads. So now we now we are on the proper menu for the group policy manager. We're going to create the GPO and link it here. Let's just click here. All right, perfect. There we go. <clears throat> Keep the name going. Perfect. And I that. All right, perfect. And then we're going to take a look at our policies. Templates here, components, and our Windows updates. And let's see. I'm going to update that. We want to have that enabled. Right. And we want every Wednesday. Right. <clears throat> Three o'clock is fine. Auto download. Perfect. Check this out. Take a look here. All right, we want to enable, of course. And 
Pretty much about the same here. Perfect. Okay. And we want here as well. Maybe we'll bring this up a bit. All right. And we wanted that 12. For the updates. Beautiful. All right, perfect. All right, now we can take a look at this here that we wanted to enable. And of course, engineering. All right, perfect. I can actually close these out here. And now we can actually troubleshoot the password and then verify the WSUS client functionality. Uh, so to do this, I'm just going to connect the OS swivel over to 801. And I'm actually going to just restart. Let's All right, so we're back at the screen. So if we're going to sign out. It's, it's going to sign back in. All right, so let's, let's see here. So what I'm looking to see if the relationship, um, if it would describe to me the relationship between the server and the client if they would not be seen as no longer existing uh, due to any security changes or the previous security changes that, that we made since removing the machine from uh, uh, the machine 801 uh, to the WSUS folder for updates. But therefore we, um, we logged into the, the local administrator account. Uh, so we were able to log in. Um, if I were to log in with potentially, uh, let's say someone from the engineering group, uh, we may get a different result, such as the trust relationship between us, the workstation every, uh, workstation and a primary domain may be, uh, may be mis misaligned. So nonetheless, now that we've logged in, I'm actually going to um, head to PowerShell. Take a look here.
should begin. Actually, while it's doing that, I'll be doing this as well. We're going to take a look at the CLI. I'll take the map up here. Yes. <clears throat> right. Then I'm going to do a group policy update. So I just restarted it. Luke's going to give it a moment uh, to log back in. And now we're going to sign him back in after <laughs> doing a policy update. I got exactly what I expected to get the first time attempting to log in where the trust relationship between this workstation and the primary domain failed. Um, and again, I, I do believe for a couple of different uh, different reasons, and mainly due to uh, it no longer existing due to the security changes. Again, me moving this machine uh, when 801 to the WSUS folder for, uh, for updates. So <clears throat> nonetheless, just going to go ahead and fix that. So now, I'm, uh, now we're logged in. So I'm going to actually head to the control panel here. Right. <clears throat> System of security. Um, there it is. How you doing, buddy? All right, change settings. All right, and we can see that the um, this workstation conf is configured to receive updates, right? The updates automatically. All right, so it may few, take a few hours before updates would be downloaded to the computer, at least in the real world, right? Now, it may not be downloaded immediately after the initial install of WS on this server uh, because it does need to may manually run uh, the synchronization again to force the WS server to download the updates available from Microsoft in particular. But the important thing here is that the Windows Update Services server uh, for DC01 was able to synchronize with the Microsoft Update site and at least build a, a list of updates that can be downloaded at the next synchronization. Uh, but nonetheless, this brings us to the end of the video. Uh, just for a brief recap of what we went over, we installed a configured WSUS uh, certificate security, security group, sorry, computer groups, and also GPO policy as well. This was definitely a lot of fun. Uh, can't wait to see you in the next video where we'll be going over passive topology discovery. I'll see you there.